back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest resurrection remix from which is the 29th July 2019 build on this device so let me just unlock it with the fingerprint scanner and you will see the fingerprint scanner speed is blazingly fast I have been using this ROM for almost two days now and I have to say this ROM is almost pretty daily driver over here and no issues I could find. Let me just quickly show you the settings panel and by the way here I'm not using any kind of navigation buttons over here the on-screen buttons I'm just using the gestures over here and it does work super fine and there is the navigation buttons if you want them and if you go on Android version over here you will find the Resurrection Remix logo up top and here you can see the build date over here 29 July 2019 build the Resurrection Remix Pi version is 7.0.2 for Violet and this is an official ROM. The security patch is of July 5th, 2019, the latest one and here is the baseband and the stock kernel is the Pixel Plus kernel over here. Let me just quickly go back and if you go into the system, you do have the system updater over here as you can see and you can check for updates if there is any update from here. You can just click on re refresh and it will say if there is an update. Let me just go back quickly so the customizations over here are like pretty much like awesome there are a ton of customizations everywhere and talking about the battery life well this is one amazing battery life i was getting on this rom here are the screenshots as you can see this time i won't say it's pretty decent it's more than that the battery life is just great over here as you can see from the screen i got almost eight plus hours of screen on time without any issues over here in this rom so no complaints regarding the battery life moving on to the display settings over here we have the live display and night light both work super fine and inside style we have the themes so you can choose the theme by automatic and time of the day and light and dark and let me just go back if you go into the rotation settings you do have the like 270 degree 180 degree rotation stuff so everything is there like that and full screen apps is there so that you can like choose the apps whichever like you want full screen of and here we have the double tap to sleep and double tap to wake and double tap to sleep by like double tapping on the status bar works super fine and if you go into the fonts we have plethora of options for the fonts it's kind of like starts lagging the first time but as you can see it's still like kind of stuttering in the font section because there are a ton of fonts now talking about the stock launcher over here here we have the trebuchet launcher not the quick step or launcher launcher to the left we have the google now cards and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen just like this but there is no double tap to sleep or stuff like that but the double tap to sleep on the status bar does work fine from this launcher of course and if you go into the settings here are the launcher settings and you can see this is pretty simplistic well of course it's better than the pixel launcher but it's not quite there close to the launcher launcher or something so do not expect that now let's talk about the stock camera as well by default you get a weird like snapdragon camera which is Kind of not good so i installed the anx camera over here and talking about the installation of the anx camera well you just need to flash the anx 130 zip file then you have to flash the 48 megapixel fixed zip file so two zip files you need first the anx camera zip second the 48 megapixel fix flash them with TWRP recovery if you don't have magisk just flash them with TWRP recovery and it should work fine i'll link them below in the descriptions and by the way google camera is there too so like i have installed the google camera separately and if you install this apk google camera should be working super fine for you too as there is camera to api no issues whatsoever with the google camera and even anx camera like portrait mode and stuff everything works fine as you can see it works flawlessly taking pictures and this bug is still there like whenever you tap on the picture it just like takes quite a while to open as you can see the pictures taken over here with the nx camera and the google camera too are pretty fine and first of all let me quickly talk about the installation procedure of this rom well as you guys know the like all the roms coming out right now should be having like based on the latest firmware the china developer firmware you can download it from the description box below i'll like link it below of course and if i reboot let me show you like which firmware you need so by the way i have peter's twrp here so it will ask me for the password over here you can see as you can see right now it's asking me for the screen password over here so let me just enter it so i just entered my screen password and i am in the twrp recovery and i have all the folders like showing up over here so you need this firmware the firmware violet MIUI 9718 or you can download anything above like 9724 or something it will say or like later on 
this is a china developer firmware by the way whenever you are downloading from the description do like keep that in mind this is a china developer firmware you have to download not the global one you need this firmware to like flash the newest like roms right now if you are flashing this rom just like go to wipe then advanced wipe then wipe this talvi cache system and data of course these four things and you can also wipe the vendor too if you need to and if you go into install now first thing you would select is the firmware so just flash it from here then just go to install again or like you can click on the add more zip and then select the resurrection remix zip file and then select the gapps like the i am using the arm64 9.0 micro gapps over here so one is the firmware second is the rom zip third is the gapps file so once you selected that just swipe to confirm flash and reboot once it's done and it will be rebooting to system pretty fine you do not need to worry so that is what you need to know about the installation procedure now let me just like talk about the rom itself and let me show you the customizations like quickly i won't like show everything over here you have the clock settings network traffic indicator battery style and inside battery style you do get the android q like stuff and battery percentage you can like show it to the next to the battery icon and system icons is there so that there is faulty icon and stuff and talking about faulty calling well yes you can record the faulty calls or like any kind of calls you do over here you can record there is option in the in call ui and also there is video calling option if you like need that and over here if you go into the status bar we have the brightness control so this is a really good feature as you can see it like controls the brightness just by swiping on the status bar let me just go back if you go into the status bar items we have the headset bluetooth etc icons over here pretty normal stuff let me go back let's go to the quick settings we have the quick setting toggle style and stuff you can change the quick setting toggle styles however you want from here and tile layout is there quick pull down is there if you go into advanced we have the vibrate on touch toggles of the quick settings brightness slider you can choose it to like on the top or the bottom or you can just hide it if you want to and if you go into the animations we have the like quick setting toggle animation like flip and rotate so pretty simplistic if you go into recents we have the slim recents and stuff and then you can change the recent style to audio too if you need that and over here we have the lock screen customization so fingerprint unlock is there so you can use always unlock fingerprint scanner but it does not work because the rom is encrypted i'm encrypted so that like wherever whenever i reboot or like whenever i reboot to twrp i need to enter the pin or password to unlock like the phone so that's how it is and the option is there but yeah since i am encrypted i have to enter the pin once after i reboot so that's how it is and charging animation is there which shows in the lock screen and face auto unlock is there too if you have flashed micro gapps with this rom you will get face unlock working super fine you do not need to worry and here is the like clock style you can change it to android q and by the way let me show you the lock screen here is how it looks like and it shows the temperature and stuff over here too in the lock screen and as you can see the android q lock screen stuff is working fine over here so no issues whatsoever regarding that if you go into animations we have the screen off animation to color fade crt and scale and simple fade option is there too by default and you can change the resurrection remix like animations over here for this customization panel and system animations too you can change like any animation from here of the whole ui and also we have the volume steps if you need that and by the way here is how the volume panel comes and you can expand it just like this you can control alarm notification and like media volume from here in the like volume panel over here you can put the phone into silent and stuff from here of course and in call vibration is there so vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect etc are there interface option is there so that like again we have fonts then we have the heads up disabling option over here and if you go to misc we have disabling option for the vibrate on usb plug wake on plug both you can disable and three finger screenshot gesture is there as you can see taking screenshot with like three finger gesture is working pretty fine blink flashlight is there whenever you receive a call you will it will like blink the flashlight display cutout is there but i'm not using it let me go back and inside navigation we have the navigation bar settings and you can use the navigation if you want to but currently i'm using this as gestures with this 0ms haptic feedback settings and 250ms delay and 29% like trigger below of the screen so i can just like go back from anywhere pretty much and this is working fine and inside gesture we have the normal navigation gestures like the you can swipe up from the corners to go back and stuff and inside navigations we you can enable this navigation bar if you want to and even one handed mode is there you can even use the smart bar or fling options if you need that for this navigation panel and in the button section we have the power dialog option 
and from here you get the advanced reboot option and long press for torch is there too let me just show you if you enable it it should just like toggle the torch as you can see it's currently toggling the torch and that is it for the customizations and if you go into sound settings over here and if you go into advanced you have the me sound enhancer so you have the audio direct option and i have been using this with the youth edition and sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well in this rom is pretty good no issues whatsoever that i could find and let me just like bring instagram over here quickly now let's just clear all the apps from memory and let's open each one of them let's open file explorer facebook twitter Play Store, Instagram. Now let's open all the apps from memory. So, as you can see, all the apps are in memory, and this is the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And even this is handling like all the apps pretty fine. And this ROM is really, really smooth, and you can like scroll like this. By swiping up, you get the like app drawer, of course, over here. And I have a bunch of apps installed over here and the ROM is really really smooth no issues whatsoever this is pretty much a daily driver like in all the way if you are rocking a Nix camera and Google camera at the same time this ROM will be your like one of the favorite ROMs if I show you the DRM info let me show you that this ROM comes with like level 1 certification if you are someone who uses Netflix or Amazon Prime video this might really help you that this ROM does have level 1 certification for this wide wine thing and over here if you are talking about banking apps well yes the banking apps work super fine like google pay you can set up the google pay right out of the box you do not need to worry about like working banking apps or something like that it works flawlessly right out of the box in this rom you can set up pretty easily you don't need to worry and here we have the widgets and stuff everything is working here i have the subscriber account widget and let me just show you by opening pubg in which settings we can play pubg on so for the settings of PUBG, you can see you can play on balanced and ultra, then you can go smooth and ultra and there is HD and high option available, but no HDR option is available over here and the gaming performance is pretty good over here, you don't need to worry. And here is the end of the score of this ROM. So if you ask me that how is the latest restriction remix on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, I would say it's pretty much a really good daily driver. If you're using the phone and like you want customizations and stock Android kind of experience at the same time. So thank you so much for watching guys. This is Tito from KD Index signing off for today and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Give this video a thumbs up and until next time, this is Tito signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.